Okay, this next game I have is Welcome to the Backyard Professor Chess Videos. <laughs> this next game I have is one of the most beautiful by Capablanca Blanca I've ever seen. He's, he's playing someone in the club in 1918, and it's sensational how he plays this. Let's get right to the action. E4, E5, yes sir, yes sir. Knight F3, Knight C6. Are we going to have a Roy Lopez? No, Capablanca wants his other knight out here in the action. His opponent agrees. Let's do the four knights. Capa brings his bishop up to the c4. His opponent copies him, brings his bishop up to the c5. Kind of an interesting move, isn't it? Capablanca says it's time to castle. Let's tuck the king away safely. His opponent agrees. Yes, sir. Let's tuck the king away safely. Let's go ahead and get the castling done. Capablanca will secure his center, and his opponent likewise wants to secure his center in the same manner. Capa says, let's bring another piece into this, and his opponent says, yes, let's do that. He's copycatting Capablanca. Notice this. The copycat is really interesting. Kappa says, let's put the knight to d5. Oh man, that's, that's beating the tar out of that. Can you still see that? Don't want that sunlight in there too much. Don't want the wind in here too much either. Kappa block puts the knight to d5. His opponent copies him by putting the knight to d4. So they're both battling the center but Capablanca has a copycat. He bumps his queen to d2 to get the queen into the game, and his opponent bumps the queen to d7 to get his queen into the game, but it's still copycat. What do you do with a guy like this? Well, you go ahead and say, all right, bishop takes f6. Let's go on the attack. Perhaps that will teach him a lesson. But his opponent says, oh, well, I'm good for that. Let's do bishop takes f3. And he does. So he continues copycatting him. But now Capablanca has the initiative. So now that Capablanca has the initiative and he's taken his opponent off of the copycat routine, he bumps that knight up there and says, check. So now his opponent has to put the king to h8. Yeah? Now he's got the initiative. Don't let go of the initiative. Keep trucking. And he does so. Bishop takes g7. Nice fork on the rook and the king. Of course he's not going to do the, he's not going to get the rook. He's sacrificing the bishop to open up the king's side. So the king will take the bishop. The only move he's got really. And now the queen comes to g5 check. You've got the initiative keep it trucking man so now the king goes to h8 and Capablanca comes to queen f6 <laughs> checkmate so that's how to handle a copycat when a guy is copycatting you you can eventually get if you're white you can eventually get to where you can gain the initiative once you gain the initiative don't stop for anything so that's the exercise for the day. Be good, do well, have fun, stay happy, and I will see you guys in the next Backyard Professor Chess video.